Hello and welcome back to my channel. Oh, I feel like this is not high enough. Hold on. I'm like stacking my camera up on books because I decided last second to film this video. So I don't have any makeup on. <laughs> Just sitting here reading. And I thought about, oh, oh I forgot about this book. Wait, this is much better. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Chloe, if you are new here, and I just thought I would share with you um, some helpful tips if you are just like starting to read the Bible. Um, I have my dog Winston here, he's over here sitting next to me, and um, so he will definitely be making some cameos as he already is because he thinks I'm just sitting on the ground to play with him. I was sitting and reading my Bible and I made a little list of things last night when I was laying in bed and I figured since I'm already sitting here I have a few extra minutes I may as well film this for you so I can get it uploaded and not put it off because honestly I'll probably procrastinate doing this if I don't do it right now. So let's just get into it. Um, I'm just gonna say title this video like how to read and understand the bible and now this is kind of like a last second thing so i feel like i don't have everything written down that i would like i don't know i might like miss something but if i do and i think of something later i might just like leave it in the description or down in the comments or whatever so check that also um okay let's let's start with where do you start Okay, personally, if you were just starting out reading the Bible, I apologize for the the noise of Winston chewing on his ball. Um, personally, I would recommend starting in the New Testament. So if you don't know anything about the Bible, there are two parts. This is my Bible. I guess I can tell you what I use. Um, I use the She Reads Truth Bible. I don't know if you can see that. I just got it on Amazon and it is the Christian Standard Bible. So that's the translation. I really like this. Um, I feel like it's easy to understand. I've got some stuff here in the front, so let me take this out. Oh, rip some sticky notes off. Um, but just throughout it, it's got like margins for um, just, you know, taking notes and everything. And then randomly, sporadically, I guess you could say, there will be like a little devotional on this, just like on a page. At the beginning of each chapter, it gives you like a little description. There's these cute little like pictures. Um, it kind of gives you like where in time this happened, a background, what's the purpose for it. Um, so yeah, that's the Bible that I like to use and that I have used for a few years now, probably since, I think since 2020 is when I got this. Okay, so now the Bible, if you've never read it before, even if you have read it, but you don't like get into it much. Um, there are two parts of the Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Whoa. Um, so the Old Testament is before Jesus and the New Testament is the life of Jesus and kind of like after that. Um, so that's just like an easy way to think of it. Um, so the Old Testament is like, there's history, in like Genesis, Exodus, there's laws, which is like Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and like, and those ones kind of have a little bit of history in them also, what in the world? And then there's like 1st Kings, 2nd Kings, 1st Samuel, 2nd Samuel, 2nd Chronicles, Nehemiah, Psalms, I'm not like saying all these in order, but there's like prophetic books, wisdom books, I mean, there's just a whole lot. But in the New Testament, you start out in Matthew. Well, the first book of the New Testament is Matthew. And I'm going to try and like explain this in a way that's not confusing. But there are four books called the Gospels. And it's basically like the life of Jesus and when he was on the earth, but written from four different perspectives. So the Gospels are four different books talking about the same kind of things but just from four different perspectives or four different people wrote the books and so some books will have certain stories that other ones don't and then some you know they kind of like highlight different things so 
yeah personally i would recommend to start reading in the new testament at matthew mark luke john you know wherever um just because personally i feel like it's easiest to understand because it's a story and you're learning about the life of jesus but also because in the new testament is when you learn about like kind of what jesus did for us here on the earth before he died and then when he died on the cross you kind of like learn what exactly he did for us on the cross and um so in the old testament they were living what's called under what's called the old covenant and then jesus came to the earth he fulfilled a bunch of prophecies and now we live under the new covenant which means that we don't necessarily have to like live by the old you know like the laws that they had to do and like follow all these really strict rules and everything um and yeah i do recommend starting in the gospels in the new testament it's um it's a little more than halfway through the bible so this is the old testament and then this is the new testament there's definitely a lot more old testament than new testament so that's where i would recommend starting to read if you haven't yet um, so what I've done last year, I read through the New Testament. I read all the way from Matthew to Revelation. And then once I finished that, then I started reading in the Old Testament because I've actually never read through like the whole thing cover to cover. So right now I'm working through the Old Testament and I am in Isaiah, Isaiah 14. I just started reading that earlier today. My son is whining. Sorry about that. If you are just now starting to read the Bible for the first time and it's kind of confusing, I totally understand. Um, because even though I have been a Christian for my whole entire life, there are still things that I'm like confused about. And so just know that you don't always, un you probably will never get to a place where you understand every single thing in the bible and that's that's okay um because we're all learning and the holy spirit will enlighten you on certain things so yeah he will help you so yeah you might not understand everything you won't understand everything right when you start out reading and that is okay that's all right that is all right um so my tips for ways to understand what you're reading um, first of all, don't rush. I mean, literally, if you have to, if, if you have to go word by word, go word by word. That's okay. Um, something I like to do is if I'm reading in my Bible and I'm like, oh, I don't know what this verse is trying to tell me. I go onto my phone, onto the Bible app. It's just this, uh, red one right here. Just gonna focus on this one and i look at different translations because i feel like different translations say a little bit different things use a little bit different words um and yeah if you okay let's see so okay so i'm going to show you an example so say you're reading in john 10 and you come across a verse in verse 9 it says yes i am the gate those who come through me will be saved they will come and go freely and find good pastures this is jesus talking here you can tell because it's in red writing so that's a tip if you're like who's talking here if there are certain bibles that have like all of the things that jesus is saying they put it in red so then you know it's jesus talking so say you don't understand what that verse is saying you can highlight it which i've already highlighted it here so it's gonna like focus okay and then down here it says compare It'll bring up all these different translations and then you can kind of like compare and see what other translations in the Bible are saying. So I am on the NLT and it says, yes, I am the gate. Those who come through me will be saved and they will come and go freely and find good pastures. And I'm like, hey, what is that even saying? I can go to see in the Passion Translation, which is just like the one that I have right underneath this. It says, I am the gateway to enter through me is to experience life, freedom, and satisfaction. The CSB, which is the Christian Standard Bible, which is my Bible, it says, I am the gate. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will come and go and find good pasture. Or come in and go out and find pasture. Skip some words there. 
um, and then you know you can just kind of look and see different translations I mean there is so many versions on here so yeah some of the versions that I like are the NLT, the CSB, the Passion, which is the TPT, the New King James, and the Contemporary English version. There's also like the Amplified, Amplified Classic. I mean, like, ow! Listen, sorry, I hope he's not distracted, but if you can see if it's gonna turn, there's like so many different translations. So, yeah. That I feel like that's one way. Use different translations. A different way is um, a resource. Two resources that I like to use are the Bible Project, which is a YouTube channel, and they also have an app. And then also Enduring Word, which is a commentary. They have a website and they have an app. Um, so the Bible Project it is really nice for like if you're starting a book you've never read before. They give you a complete overview of what the book is. They even have like different things about like different topics in the Bible and everything. But they have like, oh, an overview of, I did this for all of the books in like Exodus, Leviticus, not really Genesis so much. I mean, I think maybe I did, but like Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Numbers, like all of those kind of books. Cause I'm like, what is going on? So I kind of wanted to have a little overview to know what I was about to start reading because I feel like it helps you know where you're going in the story, especially if it's kind of like historical and everything. And then if it's something that's more like laws, then it kind of like helps you understand, oh, this is why they did that and blah, blah, blah. It kind of helps you understand. And it gives you a little bit of historical background also, which is very helpful to understand the context in which the book was written. So. There's that, once they do that, they have an app, like I said, and then they also have YouTube videos. So it's just the Bible project on YouTube. And then the other resource I like is Enduring Word. Um, I'll just put both of these up on the screen if I didn't already. Um, and this is a website and they also have an app. Let me see if I can find my Safari on here. I already have it pulled up. I don't, okay, one second. Okay, so when you first go to the website, it'll look like this. And then if you just go to this little hamburger thing up here, oh, and then over to the side, it'll say commentary, it'll take you down, and then you click just whichever thing you're wanting to read. Click whichever book. And then let's say, so I'm reading right now in Isaiah. Well, you know what? Let's just keep with what we were saying before. John 10, so you click there and then it'll take, it has different chapters up here. Click there and then it has kind of like a title. Oh, I wish this wasn't so exposed. And then it takes you kind of just by verse. It has different like inputs from like different people. It's like someone wrote this, if that makes sense. And then, oh. And then if it like references a different scripture, then it will pull up here. Um, but yeah, I just kind of like, if I really need to help understanding like what's going on, um, or if I'm like, what is this verse saying? I use this and I feel like it actually, it helps me a lot. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. And like I said, they also have an app, which is really nice. Um, I ran out of storage on my phone a while ago, so I deleted the app, but I should download it again because I do like having it. Okay, and then um, another way that I find very helpful is, oh, um, another way I can, I would say, like if there's like a topic you don't understand, just throw it in. of the Bible there is an index if there's a certain topic you don't understand you can go to the back at least most Bibles have this you can go into the back and it will give you like wait where's it a little further back than I thought it'll just have like words 
be like, oh, I don't understand what it says about marriage, loneliness, kindness, justice, idolatry, you know, like I'm just like reading what it says. And then it'll have a word and then it'll have like references where it talks about that topic in the Bible. So that's always helpful. Oh, and then something else that's really helpful. Sorry, I feel like this is a little all over the place. You can do the same thing in the Bible app. You can go to where it says discover down at the bottom and you can just type in the topic that you're wanting to search for. You can type in like anxiety and it'll bring up all kinds of scriptures that have to do with it. It'll bring up Bible plans, videos, um, just like all kinds of stuff like that that you can read that'll help you understand things better. And that's really helpful if you're like, oh, I want to do like a Bible plan um, to, yeah. And if you don't know what a Bible plan is, on the Bible app they have like plans you can do. So like every day it'll give you like a little devotional and um, then like a verse or a few verses that go along with what you read. And it helps like, usually there's like a specific topic. So it's talking about like love or anxiety or marriage or whatever. Yeah, it's a helpful way to do that. And then it can like send you a reminder to read it every day. I mean like it's very nice, very hands on. And then there's like clips, video clips of people. They like videos of people like sharing about like this one says Matthew 7 24 this guy's talking about rest this guy's talking about Psalm 4 8 I mean there's like all kinds of stuff so definitely recommend the Bible app I think it's like a number one downloaded app or something I don't know I could like literally be making that up but yeah okay. and I guess I should have said this first and foremost if you're not understanding what you're reading first Ask the Holy Spirit to help you because that is the best way that you're gonna um, be able to understand it. So even you can even do this before you start reading, just like say, Holy Spirit, please help me to understand what I'm reading today. You know, like help me just understand what you're trying to show me and what is exactly going on, blah, 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 whatever. And it does, he will definitely help you. So that would be actually my first tip. I might even insert this in the beginning of the video. Um, so yeah, but I hope this video helped you and answer some of your questions, please. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment them down below or you can follow me on Instagram. You can DM me over there. It's at clo, C-H-L-O, and then a dot, and then a little field, but I'll put it on the screen. He has some stinky breath, this man right here. Um, but my last reminder to you is that it's okay to not understand everything that you read immediately because no one does, you know? Not everyone understands every single thing that they're reading all the time and that is okay because some things will take a little bit of time for you just to like understand and everyone goes through that so like some things will be like oh i totally know what that's saying and then other things will be like oh i don't know what's going on and then you might have to read it and reread it and reread it and that is okay because you get it um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i thank you so much for watching and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, leave me a comment if you would like. Follow me on Instagram if you want to. Um, subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And like if you want to see more videos like this. I also do like little vlogs and stuff. So go check those out if you want to. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.